red yeah. card in. So, Dave, uh, belated Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us. It's, it's felt like a long time since we've spoken. Yeah, same with you, mate, and anyone else watching this. Um, yeah, there's been a while. It's It's been a tough few weeks um, from a football club's point of view and, and personally because coronavirus has gone through through our camp as well and uh, I was laid low after after Christmas with it and it does kind of change your perspective on things um, because, yeah, I was laid in bed for a few days and in, in a bad way. So I'll openly admit I don't think I took it seriously enough before I caught it, but it's one now where I'll certainly be taking it seriously and, and morally as... As it stands for football, I do think it's right that uh, things have been put towards, um, well, delaying at the moment, but towards a null and void option with the league. Yeah, the, the Tridents have spoken out, haven't they? The three divisions at step three and four, um, which includes the Northern Premier Division, about whether they've been asked by the FA whether they should carry on the season. I think the general consensus is to um, call the season off just because of, it's not like you sort of 12, 14 games in, is it either? Well, it was made null and void in March last year after 33 games. Um, we're going to hit March this year, having played six. Mm. So you look at it, can we, can we finish the league in the current format? Impossible. Can we finish the league in a regional format? Very unlikely. Um, even that's looking at 20 games. Can you finish the league in any other format? Just um, will affect the integrity of the competition because to play anything less than 20 games and decide promotion and relegation on it is not right. Um, the the then asking for suggestions how you could decide promotion and relegation. And as a football club, we're neutral on that. It's We're going to be in this league next season if there's no promotion and relegation. There is some suggestions about taking last season's results, carrying this season's results into next year. Um, it's not for us to really decide that. And I think it's it then becomes everyone kind of looking after themselves, which um, is not the, I don't think it's the right way to go about things, but ev everyone's got a different opinion on that. I understand there should be a promotion and relegation, but there's no fair way of deciding it. It's, it's very unfair to, um, to change. Like you made it null and void last season when South Shields have run away with the league and to then change to go null and void and change the ruling on the promotion and relegation. I don't know. It's, it's going to be very difficult and we will deal with the consequences that arise from the decisions. And I, I do, I do um, pity them who have to make the decisions because it is very going to be, they can't please everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just a mess. It is. It's a complete mess. And uh, it's, there's no fair way around it because again, you make our season null and void and say there's no promotion and relegation. How does that affect the integrity of the league above? Um, the team start pulling their budgets in the lower half who, who know they can't get relegated, which then impacts the teams who are pushing for promotion because they're playing against teams who are, are not really trying the best. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it all works out. My biggest um, concern at the moment in terms of if we do restart, we're going to lose players. Um, I expect to see one or two departures in the next few days because... I've been fending off interest in a lot of players, but it's come to a point where I can't really fend off that interest anymore. There's there's 14 players on and uh, non contract here. We don't actually have a hold over these players. They can go and sign for um, clubs within the higher leagues on a non contract basis. And if we do restart, there's we haven't got uh, a recall option where we can just say you automatically come back. So. Mm -hmm. Again, if we were to say start on March the 6th, I don't know what my squad would look like. And I can't sign any players in the meantime because we, we don't know what we're signing players towards. So again, that affects the integrity of it all. So for me, null and void is definitely the best option. Yeah, <clears throat> as you say, it's been um, it's been really, really quiet on, on sort of the, the um, players' front, hasn't it? But like you say, I mean, there's still the Paddy Lane kind of saga going on a little bit and... You can't, like you say, bring in any plays either. Yeah, well, we, we had to take a gamble with Paddy again. Farsley wanted him on loan. Um, but if we were to have restarted in early January, we couldn't have Paddy for two weeks of his loan period, which um, it come to a point where I took that gamble on that. So it's, it's with Paddy now. I'd have to look at loaning him out till the end of the season or seeing if he, he can go to a football club for a fee. Uh, we we can't stop him going anywhere. Um, and it's the same with the other lads. We, we've already had some players, some good young players who are stalling their careers because they, they can't play any football. So we've got 
a, a lot of interest in, in two or three of the lads from the league above and um, said you might see one or two departures in the next couple of days, whether that's on loan. It, it's got to be a loan if it's a contracted player and we've got four contracted players and it's got to be a dual reg if it is a non-contract player. So um, the lads who do go out on a contract basis will be loans. If it's not if it's non-contract, they'll be dual reg. And fingers crossed we can get them back if we do restart, but I just think it's very, very unlikely that we are going to restart. And morally, I don't think we should restart either. Yeah, it's, it's about juggling, like you say, the players' careers, about did he sit there on the backside till the summer and, and, and try and start again uh, with us, or did he go out and get some football? And even if they do come back, at least you've had sort of six months' experience at a higher level. Yeah, we, with all due respect to our lads, we've got some good players, but everyone's not going to have options at the higher level. And uh, the, the ones who have, yeah, I think they've got to go and do that because if... Well, I believe some of them can make a living out of the game or a good living out of the game and they've got to use this opportunity to go and play that football. And we've, As a manager, I've got to put the players first in that situation. You try and protect the club as well. But for me, if you're looking at sort of a percentage, right, there's a 5% chance we're going to restart. We've got to then look after the player. If it was, it was the other way, then you'd start look after the club, which we've done throughout the process so far. But... Um, we've got to look after the the players now, and um, if we if we do restart in March, April, hopefully they'll come back. And um, the loan players certainly will because we can call them back. But the the dual reg players, we'd have to to fight for them. Um, but the the, the, lad, the lads don't want to go. To be honest, they just want to play football for Hyde. But the, that's not an option at the moment. It must be frustrating for you because obviously you, your first full season the manager was cut short. You. you technically this is your first one as well and that's been cut short so you might get a full season in at some stage yeah again it's frustrating because it, the the short careers relatively short careers playing and managing um and we've lost at least a year of them careers you know th- throughout this but again it's just there's a bigger picture with it all isn't there and uh, there's there's no other way around it and I'm not going to complain about it. We've, mm. we've just got to get on with it. it. It has come to a point, though, where we've been constantly planning in the background for when we restart, when we restart, when we get the lads back in. But I haven't spoke with a group of the players yesterday. I'm speaking to everyone over the next few days. It is, look, we, we can't provide any fitness programmes at this point. It, it's pointless. Just keep, we trust the lads. Keep ticking over. Look after yourselves. Um, we even signings wise and everything you've, you've constantly had that in the background who, who can we bring at this point but it's everything sort of on the back burner there's no there's no real planning going on um really the focus will shift towards next season if the season is made null and void but even then um we'll probably have to give it a month or two before we can really get our teeth into that yeah it's um i suppose that like you say that there's, there's bigger pictures to all of this, isn't there, at the minute? And um, also the, the football club, I mean, in terms of, I'm guessing, the thing to do now is just get people to try and donate and, and, and keep the club going that way as well. Yeah, um, the club will come up with some fundraising ideas within the next few weeks, um, which we'll roll out there. And again, it's just a lot of uncertainty around it because uh, lads are on furlough scheme at the moment. If, if the season is made null and void, we're not sure that furlough scheme can continue, so the lads will be hit financially in that that respect. Um, but the, the contracted players have actually got a contract till the first week in March. So I don't. Uh, sorry, the first week in May. So if the lads do come off furlough because there's no football, I'm not sure how the contracts are actually affected that way, and it's answers that we'd have to get off the FA. Um, yeah, and. <laughs> It, it's just it's a difficult one all round because we just can't give any clarity to anyone and that was the, the, the conversations that I had with the lads yesterday. We'll keep them all up to, to date. Um, but we're in the dark as much as they are at the moment in, in terms of that. Brilliant. Well, uh, cheers, Dave. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Look after yourself. And, uh, well, yeah, I'm sure we'll have a look, an update sooner rather than later. Yeah, we'll try and catch up in the next few weeks. I just want to keep everyone up to date with what's going on because... There's not much information coming out of clubs at the moment because it is, like I said previously, we're just in the dark over it. So as, as soon as we know anything, we can set things up and we'll get the communication out out to the fans. And yeah, in the meantime, look after yourself as well and we'll catch up soon.